hello guys you can see here so we have started a tax training session it's a specialized training for uh, all the tax functionality in oracle fusion you can see we'll cover these topics like regime to rate setups for uh, both AR and ap we'll uh, discuss and cover some AR and ap tax scenarios and uh, all the basic configuration requires for uh, ap and uh, air tax that means your input tax and output tax will be covered and uh, you can see here we'll cover also some concepts like uh, upset tax recoverable tax non-recoverable tax reverse charge self assess tax okay so how the configuration owner tax upon will impact your uh, tax functionality and uh, we'll discuss some of the real-time tax scenarios and what are the issues we'll face during the tax implementation and uh, post-production support, what kind of tax related issue we'll get. Okay. So all this uh, we are going to discuss here and also we'll discuss rapid implementations, how we can uh, build tax formula and uh, what is the tax implementation checklist and withholding tax implementation checklist. We'll cover complete input tax, output tax, and uh, withholding tax setups. Thank you guys. If you want, you can contact for more detail. Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Today we'll see what is uh, tax control account in Oracle IP. Okay. So let us get one example. The supplier invoice amount in invoice document is 1020 okay supplier tax amount is 19 percent tax supplied and uh, supplier has provided the tax amount as 194 the total invoice amount in the supplier invoice document is 1240 okay and uh, the business user entering the invoice in oracle system invoice amount is 100 okay and uh, the tax calculated by the system 19 percent tax calculated by system so the exact amount after calculation of 90 percent 19 percent tax will be 193.80 so total invoice amount will be 12 13.80 here you can notice the difference right the original supplier invoice amount like total invoice amount is 1214 while the system calculated including tax amount the total invoice, invoice amount in uh, oracle is 12 13.80 so there is a difference of 0 0.20 so how to handle these differences because if the invoice total amount and line amount there is a difference invoice cannot be validated right so all your total line amount including your tax amount should be exactly equal to your invoice header amount so let us see in the system. So I'll try to create one invoice. So in this example, you'll able to know what is the impact of uh, tax control amount in the invoice. Business unit, I will take uh, Germany. Supplier Amazon Germany. Okay. So invoice number will be D E T C four. Okay. So as per the for example, as per the supplier invoice amount. Uh, invoice document I'm entering 1020 is the invoice amount right so this is the invoice amount basis against which the tax will be calculated so this is the invoice amount 1020 or we can take two lines 500 
पर वन लाइन ओके विल टेक अनादर लाइन फॉर जो फाइव हंड्रेड टू जीरो ओके सो नाउ इट्स वन जीरो टू जीरो राइट There are two lines for uh, this invoice. One is five hundred. One one is five twenty. And the invoice total amount is excluding tax. That is one zero two zero. So now for this amount, tax will be calculated. So let us calculate the tax. Okay. So you can see the tax has been calculated now. This is the including tax amount. Now the invoice amount is twelve thirty. So, but here you can see the supplier has provided the tax amount, like total invoice amount as twelve thirty, right? So there is a difference of so if we here include. Twelve point thirteen point eight zero. Okay, so as per our system, the tax calculated amount and the invoice amount, the total is twelve point thirteen point sorry twelve thirteen point eighteen. Whereas the supplier provided amount is twelve thirteen. So there is a difference if we because the user will. Will uh, see the like refer the invoice document and uh, provide the total invoice amount as twelve forty, right? So now let us see and try to validate. So you can see need revalidation. Why? Because. The invoice uh, amount and tax calculated amount, there is a decimal difference of zero point two zero. That's why uh, you will get a variance hold here, right? System hold and line variance hold. What is that hold? Total invoice line does not equal to the total invoice amount because the system calculated invoice amount. Where the supplier provided invoice amount, there is a decimal difference, and to handle that decimal difference, oh. to handle that decimal difference, what we have to do, we have to go here, uh, show more, and tax tab. Okay, in the tax tab, we have to enter here what is the tax control amount. So tax control amount is nothing but whatever tax calculated and uh, tax amount provided by the supplier. So here the tax amount provided by the supplier is one ninety four. So they have rounded up the figure tax amount and uh, provided one ninety four. Okay, one ninety four as the tax control amount. Okay, so if you put here the tax control amount, system will automatically adjust the tax line and tax amount. And uh, if you revalidate here, the invoice will be validated. You can see. So now, uh, this tax amount automatically changed to twelve thirty. Earlier it was. Twelve thirteen point eight. So this is the functionality of tax control amount. You can leverage this amount and leverage this functionality, tax control amount, to handle this kind of situation where there are multiple lines for invoice, and uh, the system generated uh, tax amount is different from what supplier has provided. So you don't need to adjust this amount uh, at. Uh, Tax line level because here if you go here, 
uh, and manage tax detail, right? For every line, you will see system generated tax amount. And uh, even if you try to correct this amount individually for line by line, system may not allow this. But uh, through this tax control amount functionality, system will do an automatic adjustment for each line for the decimal difference and uh, invoice will be validated. I hope you understood this. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Oh. Uh -oh. Hello guys, you can see here. So we have started a tax training session. It's a specialized training for uh, all the tax functionality in Oracle Fusion. You can see we'll cover these topics like regime to rate setups for uh, both AR and AP. We'll uh, discuss and cover some AR and AP tax scenarios and uh, all the basic configuration requires for uh, AP and uh, air tax that means your input tax and output tax will be covered and uh, you can see here we'll cover also some concepts like uh, upset tax recoverable tax non-recoverable tax reverse charge self assess tax okay so how the configuration owner tax upon will impact your uh, tax functionality and uh, we'll discuss some of the real-time tax scenarios and what are the issues we'll face during the tax implementation and uh, post-production support, what kind of tax related issue we'll get, okay. So all this uh, we are going to discuss here and also we'll discuss rapid implementations, how we can uh, build tax formula and uh, what is the tax implementation checklist and withholding tax implementation checklist. We'll cover complete input tax output tax and uh, withholding tax setups thank you guys if you want you can contact for more detail